Hi, in this video, we'll be looking at how to find the greatest common factor between two or more variable expressions. So as you can see here, I have an expression right here with variables and another expression right here with variables. There are also coefficients. So the way we deal with the coefficients will be slightly different from how we deal with the variables. The major thing that we're going to try to do here is break this into its smallest possible factors. So let's do the numbers first. In order to break this into its smallest possible factors, we're going to do a factor tree. So we have 18 and we're going to look for the smallest prime factor of 18, which is 2, and 2 times 9 gives us 18. We do the same thing for 9. The smallest prime number that goes into 9 is 3, and 3 times 3 gives you 9. And so now we've broken 18 up into its prime factors, which is 2 times 3 times 3. Now we can go ahead and continue to break this expression up into the smallest possible factors that we can see by writing out the factors of the, of the variables. So we have an x also, and then there's a y squared. And y squared we can write as y times y. And so we've broken our 18xy squared into its smallest possible factors. All right, now we're going to do the same thing for 28. We're going to start off with a factor tree. Look for the smallest prime factor of 28, which is 2, and 2 times 14 gives you 28. The smallest prime factor of 14 is 2, and 2 times 7 gives you 14. So those are the prime factors. So we have broken that 28 up into 2 times 2 times 7, and we can go ahead and do the same thing for the variables. x squared is really x times x, and y squared is really y times y. Now when we're ready to write the GCF, we look at what both lists have in common. So there's 1, 2 on the left, and 1, 2 on the right. Um, so they have that in common. So I'll go ahead and circle that. There's an extra 2 on the right. We cannot circle it because we do not have an extra 2 on the left. All right. There are no 3s on the right, so that's not helpful. There's no 7s on the left. Not helpful. So the only number that is common to both of these is that 2 right here. There's a 2 here and a 2 here. All right. There is 1x here, and there are 2 x's over here. We can't circle both x's, but we can go ahead and circle 1x because it is common to both. So let's go ahead and circle it here as well. And there are two y's in both of our lists, so those are common to both expressions. So now we've circled everything that's common to both expressions, and now we can write our GCF. And so our GCF is 2 times x times y times y, or we can go ahead and shorten that a little bit, and it becomes 2xy squared. And that's how you write the GCF of a variable expression.